guys and welcome to today's video. If you're new, my name is Ava and today I have a tack haul for you guys and a little bit of an unboxing. So I'm going to start with the tack haul and then at the end I'm going to do an unboxing and then show you guys what I got. So let's jump right into Um, I bought all this stuff with my own money, so I really just want to make sure I get that across. I'm just going to show you guys everything that I got. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this half pad I got. Looks like this. There we go. And this is just the Tough Rider half pad. Um, it's just in white. I got this and the three other things I'm about to show you, um, like, in November, so it's been a little while, but I did just wash all three of these, or all four of them, so they are nice and clean. I thought I'd show you guys because I never really formally introduced them. It's just a Tough Rider white half pad. I like it. Alright, so the next thing I do have to say I'm not really that satisfied with. That's okay, I'll still show it to you guys and tell you about it. It's this right here. This is the Tough Rider um, um, all-purpose saddle pad in burgundy. Um, so there's a few things I don't like about it. So one, it's really thin. I like the thicker saddle pads um, just because I like to have a lot of cushion for his back. Um, and I thought this was gonna be thicker, but it turned out to not be. I also don't like it because the inside's white I really don't like when insides are white. They're super hard to keep clean. And then the last thing is that this is a very long saddle pad. It looks more like a dressage pad. Um, so that's the other thing that I don't like. I actually haven't tried to ride this yet because I've been a little worried too. But I mean, I might try soon. I just wasn't really that satisfied with it. So I wanna tell you guys about that. All right, the next two things I am so excited about because I got these in November. But the first one I'll show you is this. Um, it is just the Dover Saddlery um, all-purpose saddle pad. So basically, these are normally like 29-ish at Dover, which isn't bad for a saddle pad at all. Um, so I was planning on maybe getting one when I went there to go pick up my breeches. But I went to pick up my breeches on Black Friday, not even thinking about it. And when I got into the store, they were having a massive sale. And these were $6.99 each, okay? That is so insane for a saddle pad. So being me, I had to get two. So I got this one in royal blue. And I got this one in, it's the same exact saddle pad, same exact thing. I got this in like pink, like a baby pink. It's making it look a lot more like bright on camera, but it's like a baby pink. It's really pretty. And he looks adorable in it. This grooming kit that I got. I got a grooming kit because um, my old coat and brushes were just really gross and I just thought I needed a new one. So I'll show you everything that came in it and then I'll show you everything like I added to it. So this is what just came in it. It's this um, clear backpack. It's blue. I have to say, I'm not very happy with this. Um, well, I'll start with the brushes then to show you why I'm not. This is the main reason why I was not happy with this. So it came with two brushes, right? One has this wooden black back and one has this plastic black back with a rainbow handle, okay? The brushes themselves aren't that bad, but what I read about them, I thought that one was a dandy brush and one was a hard brush and that I was only gonna have to get a like face brush but when they came in both of these are like this weird medium bristled brushes which they kind of have hair in them right now because they have chances hair in them but it's fine but they're just this weird like medium bristled I don't know I just don't really like them um they do the fine job I just in the package that I'm gonna unbox you, I had to get a hard brush and a face brush so that 
I could get the job done a little bit better. Then it came with this plastic curry. It's like this, they're just one of the ones with the really hard bristles. I don't use this as a curry. I'm gonna put this in like my bathing kit. The next thing that came in the kit is just this hoof pick. It's just got a brush. I like the ones with the brush, so I got the brush one and it has a little hook. It came with this little mane and tail brush, which is fine, it's good quality, but um, his tail is thicker, so I do like to use this on his mane, and then I got uh, a mane and tail brush for his tail. The next thing that came in it is this. It's just a gel curry, this is a curry I use, but I also, it's not gonna stay in this like um, clear backpack. I did order grooming coat which you guys will hopefully see in this box that I unboxed at the end for you guys. So this, all that came in here. Um, so now I'm gonna show you the stuff that came aside. So like I said, this came aside from it, but I added it, it's just a mane and tail brush. And then I have a mane and tail detangler, which I really like this product. I've never tried it before, but I used it on Chance on Saturday. And I really liked it. I just got it in a dual pack because it was cheaper if I just got it in a dual pack. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I have a halter for you guys. This is just the Weaver Original Adjustable Halter in the size Arabian Cob. Just like, it just looks like this, it's a royal blue. I won this in a giveaway. Um. I didn't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I might just keep it just to have an extra halter around, but he already does have a halter um, because I needed one for him. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys is this. It's just by the brand Snacks Fifth Avenue. It's some treats. So I got these for Chance. He doesn't really like them, but he's a really picky eater, so. Oh, also in there I just have these, which is a little plastic bag full of apple training treats but i tried to use these for training and he really really liked them so i started giving them to him as a regular treat after our rides and he just goes crazy so i give him a few of those after our rides all right now we have the time for the unboxing basically i'll tell you a little bit about it so basically i needed some more stuff and i was looking everywhere to try to find like a good deal and i found i came across this website i've never heard of it before but it's called can't really see it from the tag, but it's called Big Big D's Tack and Vet Supplies. The prices are really good, so I went ahead and ordered a package. So let's open it. It just came in today, so it is unopened. So I'm gonna open it. This might take me a little bit because. All right, so it is finally open. Okay, so the first thing I guess, oh, 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 it's my grooming tote. Let's take it out of its wrapper. So, my old grooming tote pretty much fell apart, so along with that grooming kit that I got, I ordered a grooming tote from them. Wow, this is ginormous. I did not expect it to be this big, but I mean, I guess the bigger the better. Okay, so this is it. It's really big, I have to say, but. That is okay, I'm gonna fit a lot of stuff in here. It's by, it's really nice, so I like the quality. It's got a little strap so I can carry it. It is by the company Country Pride. That's what the tag looks like. It just looks like this. All right, really liking that, so. Wow, okay, so we will start with these, Ooh. so 
Um, I don't know if you follow me on my Instagram, but if you do, um, you've seen Chance, and I have said before that Chance is really, really hard to get his bid in because he is very annoying about it and he hates it. So, a lot of the people at my barn have been using these, and so I thought I'd try them. So I tried these, these are the Horse Amar, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Peppermint Bit Wipes. Look like this. Um, so basically what you're supposed to do is like wipe them down and um, it helps them accept the bit more easily. Also, instead of having to wash your bit after every ride, you can just wipe them down with these and it keeps them nice and clean. So I'm very happy to try these. So the next thing I got is this sweat scraper. It's a little baby sweat scraper. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but that's okay. It's by the brand Jax. It's a little baby sweat scraper. That's all I really needed. Oh, so the next thing is this really big Fun. So the next thing, wow, these things are like minis, um, is also by Jax, and this is just a face brush. I really like it so far. It's so soft. I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to try that too. Oh, so next thing, it looks like it kind of popped open, but that's okay. They sealed them up for me. To make sure that just in case it did, it wasn't gonna spill. Okay, so I've heard a lot about these, um, and I wanted to try them. They just look like this. I wanted to see if these would work, like to bring around shows and to clean off my boots super quick. See if these would work. So I just got these too. Which I'll let you guys know how that works. All right, so next thing, ooh, I like this so far. It's by the brand Part Read, something like that. That's what it is. And like I said, I needed a face brush, which I already showed you, which is this. And I needed a hard brush. This hard brush, oh my gosh, I love it. It just looks like this. It's wooden, it's got a handle. I really, really, really like it. Cause it's nice and hard. So I think it'll really help get that dirt off. All right, so the next thing. Oh, they kind of popped it open, but they didn't pop it open. It's just kind of bent the bottle, but that's okay. Jill will do the same thing. So you've probably seen this, it's kind of very frequently used, but I've never used it before, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's the Carande and Martin Gallup Color Shampoo. It's in this, you can see they kind of pop the bottle, but that's fine. And this is the Color Enhancing Shampoo, and this one is for chestnuts and palominos. So it comes in different colors for like, the color of horse you have so chances of chestnut so i just got in the chestnut and palomino one so i'm definitely going to see how how he does with this which is really good all right and the last thing in this box oof, is i needed some new fly spray so i did not think this was going to be that big that's why i paid what i did for it but it's just this this is the Succulent fly repellent? I don't know. That one. But when I was looking, I did say, okay, I'm gonna pay like a little bit more, but I really wanted to get something more natural and not as um, like chemically. And this stuff is what I decided I wanted. But if you read up about this product, it's such a good product. It is water-based, it's alcohol-free. Does the same thing, repels and kills horse and deer flies, mosquitoes, gnats, lice, fleas, ticks, all that. So I'm really happy about this. This, I can't wait to try this on Chance. I know he's gonna like it. 
um, because it's not as chemically. All right, so that's everything that came in this box. But overall, everything was really, really good that I just got in this box. Um, the only thing I have to say is it was a little smushed, but I mean, this came from Ohio. And I live very far away from there, so it makes sense that the things are gonna be a little squished because they're on a delivery van. But nothing that like ruined any of the products, it's just like this bottle was a little bit squished, but that's fine. And then this popped off, but they sealed these up so that it wouldn't spill. Okay, so before I end this video, I'm gonna tell you how much everything costs. So I'll start with these. This, I said, like I said, I wanted a giveaway, but this was $29.95. Okay. Wow. I just put everything in here. But the tote itself, so the navy blue tote was, let's look at my order. The navy blue tote, my dog is right here, I'm sorry. Cooper, the navy blue, Ah, ah, back. The grooming tote was $13.50. Really good. The main and tail dual pack that I got was $11.50 for a dual pack. That was really good. This, the sweat scraper was $2.50. This hard brush that I got was $3.95. The nice little face brush that I got was $2.75. This main and tail brush was $3.99. These treats were $4.95. Sorry if you see my dog, guys. He's sitting right here being a little good boy, but he's very interested in everything as well. These wipes that I showed you guys were $6.95. The fly spray that I showed you guys, this was $13.95. The horse MR bit wipes that I got. Everything in there. This sponge that I got was one fifty. The Gallup shampoo that I got was eleven ninety five. saddle pads are normally on Dover's website, uh, $29.95, but I just got them for $6.99 each because they were on sale. This pad right here is $30. It's $30. And this half pad that I got was $30 as well. Okay, so I think that's everything I have to show you guys today. Like I said, this, um, now I put the sponge and the shampoo in here because I think I'm gonna use this as to put all my bathing stuff. But the backpack that had all the other brushes in it, um, that whole kit that I got, that was 25. So I will try to link everything in the description down below. Um, so you guys can go get some of this stuff if you really like it. Um, I think that what I got was so good and I definitely, definitely, definitely 
would recommend, if you guys can see, Big D's, um, Tack and Vet Supply. I'll also have their link in the description box down below so you guys can go check out that. They have really affordable stuff and it's really good quality as well. If you, if you spend $70, you get free shipping. So I got free shipping and it came in like three days. It was really, really quickly, which I very much appreciated. Um, so with that being said, I will see you guys next week.